Jack Jack Attack. Hello everybody, all five of you that watch this video. We are back with some Onimusha 3, Japan Gaming. Putting in the last seal here for the final door. Hope everyone's doing good, and we're gonna finish off this pretty cool dungeon here. And Jean Reno can apparently not go through demon essence or whatever is covering that other door. Alrighty, time for the level boss. freezes you and to get out of the freezing you gotta slowly kind of move this guy really isn't all that bad it's just um, yeah I haven't played for a while and my skills are not very good. Actually, the real reason is the uh, Japanese version is just so much harder than the English version. Actually, I'm not sure. It could be that, you know, the HP of enemies and whatnot is modified. That often happens when a game gets uh, translated or, uh, you know, imported. Some small changes sometimes are made on difficulty. Supposed to use these, you know, things in the air, the little uh, you know, insect things. Come on, get me out of that ice. You know, to kind of dodge his uh, rushing attacks. But it's actually kind of hard to target them at the same time you're trying to target the enemy, the boss. That's right, this is a no damage boss fight. I'm just pretending to take damage to make it more exciting. I don't know, I've never quite understood the videos of like, no damage boss fight. It just doesn't seem like it's that much fun. I find it's more fun if, you know, I'm taking some damage, the opponent's taking some damage, and it's a real fight. If it's one that's just, you know, one-sided, it's like, uh, okay, you've just been playing this game too long.
or you're using, you know, bugs or tricks, exploits to get a flawless victory. I'd rather just have fun. I mean, come on, getting turned to ice is just kind of a cool effect. There we go. Flawless victory, right? Now we get a cool stone statue. Why does everything break? So this is a just quick run up the stairs before you get drowned to death. So just run by all the enemies. And board the demon train of death! You know, why does that train look all freaky outside? Like it's alien and then inside it looks normal. And then he dies. Just kidding. He's taking a nap. And we're gonna switch back to Samanosuke. Who is still in the uh, temple. And now, we're just gonna go ahead and exit with Samanosuke and say goodbye to this pretty cool uh, stage. I also thought it was kind of an interesting level. Oh boy. More pieces and six moves. Can't leave this map without doing a puzzle, right? I always like to make sure I'm, you know, doing the right move before I do it. Because as soon as you make a mistake, you know, it's over and it exits out and you have to retry it. Oh, hey, now there's boxes here to walk across. How Benry. <laughs> Monkey boy again. もっと面白いことを思いついた。貴様の助。貴様を現場に改造してやる。あんだと。それと貴様と一緒にいたあの小僧もな。
Well, that wasn't cool. She looks kind of cool, though. Or a little cold, actually. Always worried about the little brat. Well, I don't quite understand why he would go in there. Alright, so now we get to use Michelle for a while. And yeah, I will change her outfit back to her normal one. The towel is pretty silly. Kind of ridiculous running around shooting enemies in a towel. Or it makes total sense. Depending on who you are, I guess. Hey, at least I can shoot flying things. Ow. Although bullets don't seem to be very effective. Either they're not dying or there's like more of them coming. No, you do not spit that green stuff at me. Can also be that I'm a terrible aim. Huh. No aqua around. I actually have to pick up the items myself off the ground. Probably should have gone over there first. Let's try the shotgun. Okay, so this is the bracelet that allows her to absorb, you know, the uh, Gimma souls or whatever, like everybody else. Probably should have picked that up first, but that's okay. So before going in there to search for the boy, I'm going to run down to the sewers again real quick. I'll probably cut most of this out. But if you do a little bit of backtracking here, uh, you can pick up this, you know, case. Long ago, we left here. And it has a nice grenade launcher in it. That's what the G stands for, apparently. Infinite ammo. Alright, so we're back. Heading into this place where we've already been. And I went ahead and switched her outfit so she looks a little bit more... Just a little more modest. Not half the time, I can't even tell what I'm shooting at. I 
Hello, Genma. Meet Grenade Launcher. Okay, so, uh... Just jump to the door here. Try to cut out some parts that, you know, we've already done. Hello. That is some serious recoil. Oh, they're all dead already. I think Michelle needs to just fight all the Gemma. She's more powerful than Jack or Samonosuke. Yes, that's where we always take prisoners. To the zoo. I guess this is also a famous zoo in Paris, the Brune Dobutsuen. Thought she closed the door on Akko there. Don't have to worry about me, Akko. I've got a machine gun with infinite ammo. So now we've got Akko with us, which is kind of nice. I don't have to pick stuff up anymore. And once again, we're at a... I don't know, this just reminds me of a biohazard style level. You got the rain, you got the abandoned amusement park or zoo or whatever. Full of monsters. There's the uh, boat ride. The jungle cruise ride. And yeah, there's a, uh, you know, a case there that I could have opened, but it just has grenades in it. I have infinite grenades and infinite ammo anyway. This is pretty much uh, Michelle's best weapon. They're all pretty pointless, except for that one. I don't know why I threw a grenade at the bird. actually aim at him until he comes down. So cheap. They won't let me sucker shoot him from up above. Now I am Michel. Yeah, 
Yeah, this zoo is a little creepy. I honestly wouldn't want to come here as a kid. So that door can have to go through with Sasuke, I guess. Get our picture taken. <laughs> you can see Aqua is down there in the face of the little bear that's in the kind of pocket. Why does a panda bear have a sword? I don't know. Kudos, developers, for adding a fun little thing like that where you can take a screenshot. at least, and this is a wonderful room of death! It's like, common sense would tell you, don't go down into the pit, the arena. But guess what, we're gonna go down into the pit. That's what you do in a horror movie, right? You always do the thing that the audience tells you not to do. Okay. One of them has a good item, and, or maybe two of them have a good item, and two of them have enemies. There's the boat key. Well, oh, might as well pull the other ones here just to see what happens. Let's pull the far one on the right. Weapon chest. The sniper rifle. Which isn't all that great either. Let's go ahead and see what's in the last one. Because why not? Of course, Hazure. Sorry, man, we're just gonna leave you there. You can play all by yourself. Okay, so I went ahead and skipped right quick 
to the boat, which was at the beginning of the park. So you didn't have to watch me walk all the way back. Hey, I'm a tour guide on the Jungle Cruise ride. あの子の母親が原因。あの子の母親はアンリを被って死んだ。でもどうしてそれでミシェルのことが嫌いになるの？あの子は自分のせいで母親が死んだと。How dare you jump on my boat? <laughs> I was about to throw a grenade. <laughs> The universal way of fixing everything. I'm surprised Akko is so impressed by that. So anyway, that conversation was just about, you know, Henri and how he doesn't want a new mother because his real mother apparently protected him from something as a child and got herself killed, blah blah blah, so Henri blames himself and doesn't want a new mother and that's why they, Michelle and him don't get along, I suppose. He's afraid she'll die because of him, I guess. Okay, let's save right quick before we go any further. Destroy all the trash cans at the zoo because that's where all the good stuff is put in the trash can. Well, I got plenty of first aid. Now, I want to know who the decorator is of this museum place or whatever. I mean, look at all those posters on the walls. I don't know, this is just a creepy room. I guess the Genma could have decorated it, I don't know. But it seems like some of the stuff here was like originally here, but yeah, why would you have such a creepy all these creepy posters. Yeah. Somebody's got some serious decoration issues, discrepancies, decoration deficiencies. Up here real quick. So apparently there's something to the left, right ahead of me. I 
guess we'll go downstairs, because I'm assuming that's where Samanosuke is. Huh, I hear them. Oh, they're still in cages. For now. Okay, let's turn the electricity off and have a warm reunion. villain. He's what a real villain should be. Alright, we are back in control of Sasuke now. As you can see, I didn't need to say anything because it's obvious, right? Now I'm from this point on, I'm using a a save file that has uh, you know, all the weapons and infinite arrows and such, just to make going through it a bit easier. Hey, don't judge me, I earned it. But hopefully it'll make it a little bit more fun for you guys. So let's uh, go ahead and we'll stop this one, and we'll see you in the next one.